Hey guys, back again to Wixwise at Fat Audio. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, follow along for more builds and stuff. We uh, definitely have quite a few cool videos coming. So, on to today. We have ourselves here a 79 series. Well, actually, we have two 79 series. But today I'm working on this one. That one, we'll have to come back to. But we have Alpine 902 9 inch freestyle kit to go in here with the uh, specific kit, obviously, for LC70, so the 79 series. This one is a 2015. This one here is a 2021. Yes, yes, they are exactly the same. Uh, so let's have a quick look in here at the dashboard. They are very basic in here, but can always do with an upgrade. So that's the unit that's in here, which is a Zenic, uh, and that was fitted from factory. So I'm gonna rip all of this out and um, start getting some nice Alpine goodness in here. So let's go over to the bench and get this thing out of the box and have a look what we got. Right, so we'll start off with our fascia itself, which houses our nine inch screen. Obviously these are specifically designed for that LC70 or 79 series. So we've got a replacement hazard button to go in there. Obviously our main wiring harness. Fascia plate, which has the inset in it for all of our buttons, which we do need to program as well. So as you can tell, that's a nice big screen to go in there to replace what's there. Mounting plate, two mil stainless, so they're always good and strong. So that's pretty much the majority of the actual feature itself. We'll grab the unit out and have a look at him. It's all very solidly made for aftermarket, considering what you usually see. It is. Um, it's really nice again, to see. Again, big solid brackets, so it's, you know, yeah. always a good thing to see. No, no flimsy plastics. <laughs> all right, now for the main show. So these come in multiple parts. The main thing we really want to have a look at is dust LCD. There is our nine inch display. So that's the cool thing about these kits is they come basically as what's called a freestyle kit. So these are designed that you can actually take these screens, they run an uh, LVDS cable, um, which is yeah, about a meter long. Um, so you can generally, you know, mount this, make a custom fascia, mold it in somewhere. Um, then all the buttons are actually separate as well, so you can then mold them in. Um, they do actually come with a fascia plate that you can mold into dashboards or whatever the case may be. So it is a very cool kit, very cool indeed. Aside from that, I mean, basically all we've got other than the main screen is a brain box, which is just the head unit, just the head unit side of the whole getup. I don't know many other manufacturers are doing like freestyle modular head units. Um, modular? Not really many, to be honest. Not many at all. Not many, if any. Yeah, that was terrible. It was. So that is our LVDS screen cable that actually goes to the monitor itself. So as you can see, it's got about a meter length on it. So mm -hmm. you can actually mount that brain box quite a distance away from uh, the main unit, which is very, very cool. Very handy, awesome. especially if you don't have a lot of space behind the deck. Correct. Um, some cars where, you know, you literally just do not have space behind the factory head unit mm -hmm. um, and you need to mount it somewhere else. Ferrari Maserati comes to mind? It does. They're a little bit harder to fit a nine inch in the dashboard, but... Uh, oh, I think you'd probably struggle a bit there <laughs> on the older ones. You can always try. Oh, there's always an attempt, yeah. Jay's just battling a box right now. Love battling boxes. <laughs> There is our 902 brain box. Beautiful. Who's that? It's almost too nice to hide away. All of the ports. Mm -hmm. Do you reckon they could have um, populated a few more plugs on there? Oh, look. 
probably get one right in there. Oh, I was going to say, there's probably enough yeah, space there. Yeah. I'm sure if they'd made the fan internal, they could have thrown a few more. Or on. just got rid of the fan. Who needs that? Yes. Yep. Yep. So HDMI in, HDMI out. Uh, so that's obviously for rear seat entertainment for the HDMI out. There's our LVDS, main power port. Um, then we've got our uh, pre-outs for sub-amp, which we won't be using at this point in time. That's pretty much the majority of what we're going to use. Um, we will use the can, the can port, but that's only for a couple of bits. That's pretty much most of the stuff. I guess probably need to get inside the car, pull it apart and actually do it. in place looking good so these are all pretty well customizable you can put them wherever you like this is sort of a pretty standard way we go with it um, but yes that's all done head unit is all pretty much wired or the majority of it that big plume of stuff so it's good the screen in that looks pretty sweet that's good that's pretty much most of this assembled I've got Tim in the car pulling stuff apart and uh, oh yeah. start getting some extra shit run sweet Gidoki. we're getting close now there we go we've got the deck in all the wiring is done button is passed through so we've got our new hazard button so it's um time to get this screen in Right, time to get this in, get it programmed, or at least program in all the buttons, and uh, make sure it all works. Fire it up, fire it up, hey hey. Okay. Similar research in the field has yep. also shown that sitting for yep. hours at Done. a time can increase- We're good. I am the problem solver. We now have a camera working. I mean, although it be a pretty average camera, we will come back and fix that at some stage. But right now, it is good and it works. And a a a. Sweet! That is looking pretty awesome in here. Okay, so now we'll just do our booty boot. Just getting those nav updates done. And we are good. I do love how these things look in the dash. They literally just take up all of the real estate that they've got there. It is pretty wicked. I like it, I like it, I like it. Oh yeah. Win. There we go. All up and going. Beautiful. So, there we go. We're all done. We're all finished. It's all working. It's all doing its thing. Still, I can't get over the fact that these things are literally a hundred thousand dollar car with a pair of four inches in the dash. That is literally it. That's all these have for audio is a pair of not even coaxial four inches. It's pretty hopeless. So this one will be back. This one's going to get some door pods. Um, so we're going to be putting some R-Type 6x9s in the front doors. Um, probably just some coaxial, something reasonably simple, but that's going to give a hell of a lot better audio out than what a pair of four inches will do. 
Um, but if you want to have a quick look, as we've been working on this one, which mind you, this one has had lots of stuff done under here. There you go. There's one of our door panels with the pod already on it, mounted. But we have gone pretty silly with this one. So let's have a look in here. Double layer, or should I say triple layer deadening on the roof, triple layer deadening on the floor, pretty much triple layer deadening through the entire cab, under all of the floor. The entire thing has been layered. Same inside the doors. Uh, also doing block off panels in the doors. This will be getting same head unit again, uh, but also getting a sub and an amp and um, a fridge and a custom center console and a few other cool bits and pieces. So that'll be a bit of fun. But uh, yes, this deadening definitely makes all of the difference. Like these back walls now are so solid. Now we'll get the thud with the door closed. Oh, look, these things are a tin can from factory. Like they literally have no deadening in them whatsoever and they are just a big box. So now, solid, like a rock. So that is good. a serious bit of diff going on. All of the suspension work. It's even got the leaf spring deletes. It's very, very, very cool. You can see that really nicely made exhaust tucked up under there too. But uh, enough about this one. Let's go finish the other one. And there's our camera working. Like I was saying, this camera is uh, a bit crappy, but that is okay. Um, we will get them back at some point and they will um, get that swapped out. Awesome. So there we go. We are all done. Some of the big key features on these things, obviously Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, standard stuff like that. HDMI input as well. So, you know, if you want to add uh, an Apple TV or a Chromecast or plug your phone in or something like that and have that display up on the screen, you can do that too. You know, a lot of these four-wheel drive guys, when they are uh, out you know, four-wheel driving, they'll have their own specific four-wheel drives maps that might run, say, um, on a laptop or run off a um, tablet or something like that. Again, same thing, you could actually feed that into this unit and have that run through there too. But aside from that, I mean, all your standard stuff, obviously your Bluetooth, your USB, all that standard stuff. Um, the digital radio as well, which is always good. So they're just, they're a good all-rounder unit. And honestly, look killer in the dash like all of the alpine perfect fit solutions they just look wicked so that's awesome awesome thanks for watching again guys like and subscribe come back again i'll be back soon um got another couple of pretty cool videos coming up soon too so like always see you next time see ya So when the thing doesn't fit and you go, why doesn't it fit? And you look at the manual and go, oh, oh, you got to take a little chunk out of here and then it fits. Right, cool.